I've known. I met Freddie Adams on Yellow Joy's <laughs> T-shirt. <laughs> yeah, I know. And Alfred, like I say, Alfred came into the game. He, he came out of college ready. I mean, like Dante said, watching him grow is not a matter of him getting better and better as an artist, but coalescing all the things that were already great with him. And it's, it's been a joy watching him grow and get the accolades he deserves as a craftsman. I do this because I need to do it, right? I don't, that whole um, the ego thing yeah. and the celebrity thing and all that type of stuff, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't see that with you, like, at all. Like, I, I don't, that don't, I don't know. Caring that. about socials, seem like, you know, social presence, but it doesn't seem like it's worried about it too much. It just seems like it's more organic with the way you post and stuff. Yeah, man. I, I just, I don't know, that stuff, uh, you know, appeals to me. And, you know, um, I'm, in, I'm, a, I'm a, I can see myself, even though I'm, I'm of course, I'm not out there, I ain't gonna be everywhere, but I can see myself accessible, man. Yeah, I definitely. And, you know, a lot of cats who, who I look up to, same with them. I'm blessed right there to call certain folks up and be like, what's up, what's going on? Shit, you know, working, whatever, you know, with family, you know. Yeah. So I, I'm, I'm, I'm humbled by that, by how they conduct themselves. And I would agree with that. For me, uh, that's probably one of the most important things that a lot of people in a world that can be quite self-centered and selfish, uh, the true artists, you fellowshipping with artists all the time. you always looking for somebody to push you, somebody to dialogue with about their aesthetics and your aesthetics so you can grow. Uh, it always troubles me when I see artists who think that they need to own, they always need to be center stage. Because if you if your work is about you, you you're always going to grow in that. But it is very important that you also dialogue with other artists. Also let others, you know, see your work where you can talk about the philosophy behind what motivates you to do the work the way you do it. I mean, I've grown leaps and bounds from the friendships I've had with artists. Because like you say, you get exposed to new materials, new ideas. And it's not about biting a style, it's about looking at a work ethic, uh, looking at an a education ethic where you're always trying to uh, grow yourself as an artist, expand yourself as an artist. And Alfred, like I say, Alfred came into the game, he, he came out of college ready. I mean, like Dante said, Watching him grow is not a matter of him getting better and better as an artist, but coalescing all the things that were already great with him. And how was it growing up in Macon at the time and being a young creative? Fort Valley. Fort Valley, okay. Fort Valley. You know, Macon is about the size of like Nick's Mountain. Mm -hmm. You know, 100,000, 200,000. Fort Valley, 30,000. Okay. So, you know, I grew up on uh, uh, basically in the backyard of Fort Valley State. Okay. You know, my mom taught that for decades. Okay. You know, so uh, yeah, I'm, I'm a child in Kansas. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Uh, a lot of people in my neighborhood uh, taught there. Mm. You know, so it's like I around a lot of. I gotta say this though. I gotta really, I gotta preface with uh, what I'm gonna say with this about Fort Valley, especially in getting where I grew up. It was like this uh, this incubator, you know, of. Uh, some pretty, I grew up with some pretty awesome people, man. Okay. People see themselves in a in a light, you know, to see their, uh, it's almost like seeing themselves monumentally, yeah. you know. The I, the yeah, moment. I knew one young lady, she was, she was trying to fly to New York to see herself in the show that it was in. You know, guys come in here, you know, I, I, I see the, I see the images first. So I might have them in my phone, you know, pull up on someone, but let me show you somebody. And you're like, who is that? And I'm like, man, you don't know you? <laughs> you know, they look at like, you know. Can't like, believe it. Yeah, like, you know, it's, you know, you see that, that pause, like, I can't believe that's me. And they're like, how you get a picture of me? <laughs> I'm like, man, you remember you took the picture and then the guy, I told you my buddy painted it. So a lot of times I think that goes over their head. 
Yeah. You know, and, 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 and that's what makes uh, Albert, I mean, in a sense, not to compare him to anyone, but I often see him as Akka Hinde Wiley in right. the sense of uh, taking who we are and projecting us on a monumental scale to show the greatness of who we are. And that's so important, you know, and the fact that he wants to do that because it's important to him to represent us well. And, uh, you know, you guys are two amazing artists yourselves that I uh, look up to as well. And as you guys are being artists and yourself and spending the amount of time you spent with him, has he impacted, you know, what you've done? And not like his style, but just being around him and his work ethics. How has he impacted what you're, what you're doing, if any? Uh, well, me, me, me personally, I... Uh, I always tell him, I, was, I said, I was like Pat Riley when I saw him do his work. And I knew I had a space coming open in my, uh, in my space. I was like, dude, you got to get out of this garage. Man, I see what you're doing, but you need 20 foot ceilings, all this. You, you need know. some professional space. Yeah, and I, hey, I, I sold him on that dream, but it was real because, I mean, I wanted him. You know, like anybody else, everybody I rode with, you know, I, I, I pride myself on trying to be the artist on this. I want everybody to blow. I want you to, you know, do what you do. So that was the thing. Uh, I got him to come to the studio. Where's their studio at? Uh, over at the Metro, Metropolitan. Okay. At the Met. Uh, and, you know, came in, that's been like seven years ago. Mm -hmm. That's a big impact on his art, then. Yeah, you know, yeah, definitely. definitely. And you know, and myself, you know, I uh, got another artist, uh, buddy of mine. Well, you know, we just speak about, it's all about your, it's all about your contacts, you know, and you know, being able to have someone there who can maybe help you push do an you. idea, yeah, push you, you know, different materials, I mean, you know, just. A, it's a whole ball of uh, education just waiting to happen. And being open for other people to come through. It's like, yes. you know, we always had open doors. Like, hey, man, come through. Who is our? Who am I? Yeah. Man, bro, I'm a Georgia dude. Um, I'm a son. I ain't a father yet. Hope to be. Um, uh, I consider myself a funny dude. I you know, I, I, you know, shoot, I don't, I don't take nothing too seriously. But you know, I love my people. Um, I love to make. I love to share ideas. Um, I love to listen. Um, huh. uh, I'm curious, man. I want to know. Always learning, still learning. Um, yeah, you know, I consider myself. I want. I, I consider myself a, a friend to blackness. I'm black. My people are black. My friends are black. Most of the people who I, you know, who I consider to be most important people in my life are black. But when I say a friend, it's something I like. You know, I consider myself a piece, uh, a voice. You know. A sounding board, you know, a commentator. That's why I consider myself, you know, to be to a extent. Um, you know, shit, man. I love sneakers. <laughs> I love, you know, uh, uh, tradition, history. You know, uh, um, well, I guess as a maker, man, um, I just want to be honest, man. I want to be. I want to be honest. Um, I want to make sure that whatever comes out of here uh, is uncut and speaks to what it needs to speak to directly and acutely and often. And because uh, I know again, it's where I live. You know what I'm saying? This is my legacy, and you know I hope. That this work, you know, after I'm gone, uh, 
please be a testament and you know, commentary on what Atlanta was like. You know, as people. You know, shit. You know, I know I said what I said about myself, but you know, I, I'll find myself in that interest. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It's, it's about the other people. And as a curator, how would you just describe this work? Hmm. It depends on which work you're talking about. I mean, you, you got the sculptures, you got the portraiture. Uh, the first thing I always uh, pick up on Alfred's work is how well crafted it is. Uh, he's a painter's painter. He's a sculptor's sculptor. He takes pride in making sure when he puts something together, it's put together well. Now, add to that his own signature style, especially in his portraiture. Uh, some artists, the minute you see their work, you know it's something distinct. Uh, a lot of times you'll see artists and they're one degree of separation. Well, when I look at Alfred's work, it's like leaps and bounds beyond anybody who's painting in a similar style. And when I say style, portraiture, uh, his work is distinctly his own. And that's what I find phenomenal about his work. Craftsmanship first, uh, definitely the style, and then the output. He's constantly putting the work out there. He's not resting on whatever laurels he's received because he knows if you're an artist, you're an artist from beginning to end. Once you start, you, you're not going to stop until you leave this world. And I know that he's going to be out of quite a bit of work before he leaves this world. And it's all going to be good. So.